Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Friday and welcome to Wicca 202. We are talking about bats today. And admittedly, it may feel a trifle out of the season to be talking about bats. Uh, these are creatures who are, uh, you know, long associated with witchcraft and Halloween. But uh, we are witches every day, aren't we? Regardless of the season, not just in October when bats are a common motif. Uh, personally, I find bats to be utterly adorable, and I think of them as sky puppies, which if you have seen some of the pictures of the little baby bats, and they're swaddled in their blankets, and they're being fed with the little bottles, well, the cuteness factor alone is absolutely overwhelming. And uh, if you've looked at that long enough, you'd probably think of them as sky puppies too. Uh, bats can be found all over the world. Uh, some species can survive very extreme conditions, you know, perhaps hibernating in caves through winter, surviving not only freezing temperatures, but being surviving and be after being encased in ice. I mean, can you imagine that? A mammal species being encased in ice through the winter and coming out of that alive and thriving. Pretty amazing. And uh, while it is common for bats to be nocturnal, uh, not all of the species are. Uh, amongst other food sources, which include fruit for some species, bats are actually quite helpful in controlling the insect population. So long live the bats for that alone. It's actually not unusual for bats to uh, equal their body weight in bugs on a nightly basis. They'll just chomp, 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 eat them right up. And this is actually amounts to an estimated 1,200 mosquitoes an hour. Fewer mosquitoes. I think we're all a fan of that. Uh, now, the nocturnal species of bats, they don't require any light source to find their prey. And they can easily na uh, navigate through echolocation. And the lifespan of bats in general can exceed 30 years. And some species can fly more than 60 miles per hour. And the researchers have discovered that the Mexican free-tailed bat can exceed the speed of 100 miles per hour while in flight, which makes it the fastest mammal on Earth. And these are just a few facts that don't even scratch the surface of these amazing creatures. So let's talk about a few of their magical associations. Uh, they're associated with the element of water and with the uh, celebration of Samhain for obvious reasons and uh, the mythological creature of the dragon and the goddesses Artemis, Diana, Persephone. Magically, their powers include awakening, agriculture, beginnings, change, community, darkness, death, endurance, fertility, uh, grief, and the sense of understanding grief but also growth, uh, being a guardian of the night, uh, happiness, longevity, magic, omens, the other world, rebirth, release, self-work, shamanic work, transformation, travel, wealth, witches, and witchcraft. Now, the bat can be worked with as a spirit animal as well. Its essence represents transitions and initiations. One of the primary lessons it teaches is that and there's an aspect of your life that is no longer serving its intended purpose, and it needs to be let go of. And you, it will help you gain the courage to step forward into a new chapter. And of course, this is a difficult process because it is a sort of death. Who you once were can no longer be sustained, and it cannot be returned to once you go away from it. There's an unyielding aspect of change that requires adaptation, and our personal comfort has nothing to do with it. However, the bat spirit can be a guide throughout that process. Um, it will not take away our anxieties, but it will teach us how to be equal to the task, and it can be a reassurance that we can and will come through it. Another lesson that the bat spirit can teach us is to expand the range of our perceptions. Uh, most bats do not require sight to actually fly. And as practitioners, we should never forget that we are not limited to our physical senses. Uh, the bat spirit can help us become more adept in those capabilities. So time for a bit of homework for July 14th through July 20th. Number one, research time. Look further into the folklore surrounding bats and investigate anything that catches your interest. And of course, take notes. Uh, number two, meditate and attempt to contact the bat spirit. And number three, journal about what you've learned, especially if you've successfully encountered the spirit form of the bat. There you never know what kind of insights you might be gleaning from that. Uh, so that will do it for this week. Next week, we will be talking about the Carnelian question. And then the week after that, we'll be discussing about the how we have a need to fulfill responsibilities as practitioners. And then after that, we have August, just one month left of Wicca 202. Then we will be on to Wicca 303, which is the final installment of this series. 
It's been going by fast. But in the meantime, questions, comments, concerns, complaints, leave them for me in the comments section down below or come visit me at Blackbirds Brew on Gilded. Link in the description box to join the group as well as the links to other pagan content creators who are associated with, with Blackbirds Brew. Definitely check them out and uh, don't be shy. Say hello, introduce yourselves. Uh, but I think that will do it for now and I will see you guys next time. Bye.